here we have the RBL Mark II. Let's get started. So what the RBL Mark II is, is a semi autic rubber band gun that ejects these little shells. So I'm going to go over the functionality, front to back overview, firing demo, pros and cons, all that stuff. But first let's start with the overview. So at the front we have the front, I mean it's not really a barrel, but the rubber bands you attach and hold them there and then you bring them back like that when you're loading and then they come off of that when you fire. Uh, pretty long barrel because the rubber bands that this thing is meant to fire stretch pretty long and are pretty big in general. So after that we go back to the ejection door which is on where the shells come out when they get ejected. And then we have the magazine in the magazine well. To take the magazine out you have to pull in this lever out and then take it out. So it's kind of hard to show you, but pull it and then take it out like that. And it's a lot easier to put in because all you have to do is that. You don't have to like push or pull anything. And uh, so that's the magazine well. Magazine catch is what I like to call a doorknob catch because it functions like a doorknob because in there you can see an angled piece and when you put something in there, it pushes on it, which makes it go back in. And then when it finds its little spot where it's supposed to go back right there, it locks into place. And then you can't take the magazine back out until you pull it. But behind the magazine well, we have the bolt and the lever, or the part that the rubber bands come onto off of the gear. And um, it's very smooth and rubber band is what's forcing it to go back. It's also what causes the shells to get ejected because you can see in here that when I push the bolt, there's a little beam that comes forward and that's actually what pushes the shells out because when a rubber band comes off of the gear and goes onto here, it comes forward and then goes down, which makes the rubber band fire and it also ejects the shell. And then we have the gear and like most of the mechanism is stored in here and I'll get more into the mechanism later, but uh, the rubber bands are stored in this tooth and yeah, I'll just get into the mechanism later. And uh, now we have the handle. I tried a new style handle and it's really, really comfortable. It's more of like a circular shape as opposed to like a box shape and it, those aren't very comfortable compared to this. And then we have the stock, which is foldable, kind of like um, pump action, like a Sten Mark II or something like that. We have this. It's not really anything except like a stock stopper to prevent it from going any farther than it does. So that's the overview, and now let's go to the firing demo. So we've got eight shells loaded in the magazine and eight rubber bands loaded. It can hold 10, but I couldn't find the two shells that uh, I made. So we're just doing eight. The goal is to hit the cup and uh, let's see what happens. First try, keep going. So overall, very reliable ejection and very smooth trigger pull, super satisfying to use. Now let's go to the mechanism.
second. All right, so that's the overview, firing demo, and mechanism. So now let's go to pros and cons. Pros. Grip, very comfortable, like I said in the past. Uh, magazine holds a lot of shells, and it can still eject, like, 10 to 11 shells. Um, capacity is pretty high. I mean, it's corresponding to the high capacity of shells. And the shell ejection, it, they go pretty far. Like, they don't just drop out of the ejection door. The stock, I really like the added stock because it's foldable. And it's actually pretty comfortable. And it looks pretty cool as well. The trigger is very snappy, very smooth. And uh, the ejection is very reliable. Like, I haven't had a jam ever. The range is really good. Accuracy is really good, in case you couldn't tell at the firing demo. Cons. The point right here doesn't have a stopping point. So if you put your shoulder against it, it just does that and goes over your shoulder. It's not that big of a deal because I'm usually going like this and I'm not going like this. I wish I had enough smooth plates to cover up this part. Um, it might add to the grip though, because if I had smooth plates there, it might be slippery. I don't know. Um, the mag catch, a lot of my mag catches, you could just push like a little button and then it would, um, get the magazine out. But with this one, you have to pull with one hand and then take it out with the other hand. And I usually have to do it while I put it on my lap, but usually with most of my projects, you can either just take it out like that because it's friction held or just push a button. But with this one, you have to do that. Um, I think that's it for cons. So not that many cons, and the cons were pretty minor too. So overall, very good build. That's the overview of the RBL Mark II.